Hello everybody, Tyler's Rocker here, doing a deck tech video here with my GF Alice. And this is Jack Sky Control and Historic, and she's pretty good at magic, but she hasn't seen his deck. And I'll explain to you guys how it works as well for everyone. So, okay. So let me go, um, let's start off the land base. So this deck is three colors. Mm -hmm. So it has white, blue, and red. So let's look at our land. You see, we got like these lands that are like blue, mm -hmm. blue, white, and then we got, you know, blue, white, you, you kind of understand these. Mm -hmm. This is like a blue, red, and basically you have any, and this one has all three colors, mm -hmm. but it enters tapped. Mm -hmm. But then one special land that we have, there's two special lands we have that can make us um, threats to win. So this one becomes a land. Mm -hmm. You can pay four mana and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Oh, wow. But it's expensive to get a 2-2, two -two, right? But then uh, I'll show you uh, my, the theme of the deck later. This is like one of my favorite decks that I've ever played so far. And you can try it later. Okay. So this one enters the battlefield unless you control a plane. Oh, that doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. But you can just make a, make tokens out of it. You get oh, value wow. out of it. Okay, so okay. Um, let's take a look at um, some of the stuff. So this deck, uh, let's start from the beginning. The theory from the beginning is you try to survive into the late game. Okay. Mm -hmm. So portable hole is just a one mana thing. That can just remove like any permanent like including creatures like a okay. two mana you know someone's beating you up. Mm -hmm. Soul Guide Lantern, and most of our early game is one for one. You mm -hmm. use one of our cards to kill one of their creatures. Mm -hmm. This one is sometimes you know they have graveyard stuff. So um, if they do have a graveyard thing, we can like destroy the graveyard, which will slow down their game. Mm -hmm. And if this is useless, we can just draw a card. Because we're the type of deck that want to play more than like 15 turns. Mm -hmm. So in late game, we draw this, we'll just draw another card. Mm -hmm. And we're the kind of deck that's going to, we're always going to have like like 10 lands. Mm -hmm. Because we want to, we don't end the game early and we try to delay the game basically. So two mana spells, we can t counter this. And then recycling allows us to, in the late game if we draw it, if opponent has a lot of mana, then we get to cycle instead. Mm -hmm. So it's not a waste, you know. Because if they have a lot of mana, we can't counter anything, right? Mm -hmm. This is one of the best. That's only one of. Memory Lapse is like one of the main cards in our deck. You just counter a spell and then put it on the top of their deck. They still get that spell back, but they miss their next draw step that they would have drew, drew, drawn. And you slow down their clock mm -hmm. if they're like trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. um, let me go uh, skip one. This is just, we gain three life, slow down the game again, and to hurt one of their creatures. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, get rid of a threat. That's pretty good, actually, for two mana. Yeah, and this is another thing. This is not as good. This is sorcery, so Helix is better, but this one can destroy artifact enchantment. Mm -hmm. So let's say an artifact enchantment is causing us to lose or mm -hmm. making them win, then we can slow it down. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're a lot of interactions. This one is an interesting card, so you can read it first. Take mm -hmm. your time. So this one is always a two for one almost. So what you do is, let's say even turn two you play this. Well, turn three you play this, okay? You play two mana, you look at three cards. You can exile the land always because you can play it that turn. So it's a free land. Mm -hmm. And you put any card into your hand. And then one just in the library. So you get to put down one land. And then you can put one card in your hand. So you see, put one. You can you may play the exile card this turn. So you, that could be a land. Oh, so you can play two lands this turn. No, you can still play only one land. So you shouldn't put down the land before you play this one. Because you already oh, played that, play the land, then you can't play that card. Oh, I see. Because mm, of that game rule, right? Mm -hmm. The last... Uh, two drop you haven't seen is you can take a look at this one. So it doesn't become the right side yet. Mm -hmm. It's us it's this one first, and then do we decide yet? Mm -hmm. You can you can read it first. Take your time. So transform is turning it into this one. Because this is not as good. This one actually gets you free cards. But this one just puts cards into your... Let's say you have too many lands or you don't want a card. It's useless. Then you could put in the graveyard. And you do for seven turns or something. And then you can flip it to this. Wow. And this you can keep drawing cards every turn. Wow. So that's another card that's... And you can add a blue. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a good, you know, for a long game card, right? Everything. Yeah. So now we're starting to get into these things called two for ones. So this is simple. about the card before it 
Because we yeah. may put it in your graveyard. The oh, land. yeah. So you can leave it on the top if you want. Oh, so you can look. Okay. If it's like something you want, just leave it on top oh, and then you draw. But usually people who play this, they want to keep filling up their graveyard so they can get the sunken ruin, which is really good in the late game because mm -hmm. you can like draw a card with mm -hmm. four, man four cards, though. But if you, you know, it, 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 it could come into play. Mm -hmm. So, okay, absorb. It's just do two damage and draw a card. So it's a two for one already because you can kill a creature hopefully, yeah. or you can even kill two creatures, two one ones, mm -hmm. or even imagine killing two four ones. Mm -hmm. That would be so nice. We actually done that before. Absorb is counter a spell and gain three life, so that's pretty good. So you we move on to their threats and you get more life. Yeah. This is yeah, simple. So, so it could be a, try to be a two Each for one. Creature, wow. Yeah, and we have no creatures in our deck by the way. Yeah. I didn't mention that. Oh, what? Yeah, so that's why we play these cards. And we try to kill like yeah, see do, and we win in ways that are interesting. Wait, so how? Okay. How to win, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll show you in a sec. Actually, oh, actually that one is not good for us with that. So maybe that's why people don't play this. Maybe I need to that's rethink. Yeah, that is a creature, but you see the two mana is good because it slows down their yeah. their deck. But in this one I was thinking I could clock them, but maybe I can I can think about it again. But this is a new one I just put in. Yeah, we looked at a bunch of different lists, but only one person played this, and I thought it was pretty decent. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, you can look at this one here. Is it too much to read, by the way? Is your head hurt? Okay. <laughs> so you, you can read this as well. That one is the same as the land. Oh, she's Chinese. It looks like Emma's face, doesn't it? A little bit. Oh, it does. <laughs> So basically this one, you have five, minus two, and the one that attacks it minus two again, you have you get to get two non creature spells. Because my deck is a lot of there's no plus. So this card becomes two cards. But this card is the same um, as the legendary land. Um the legendary oh, yeah. enchantments. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. That's right. Exactly, that's smart. I didn't even realize, but because we have so many non creature non you know non-land cards. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at some of the stats, actually. That one is really good if you don't yeah. use it. Look at instant if sorceries. The other, if the other opponent, like, you know, has, like, card draw. Oops. Um, uh, which one I... Oh, energy? yeah, this one, right? Yeah, yeah that's a... Just do the first one. Yeah. Oh, no, no, the first... This one, you, you don't have to use. It's called static ability. Know. Yeah. So it's just... um Sometimes it's irrelevant. But then if they're trying to draw more cards, yeah. they can't. Don't, don't use your abilities, right? Don't use the minus two ability. Oh, yeah, to keep it there. That's mm -hmm. right. But if you minus two, it's at one. It's okay. True, true. And, but then you, their creatures might be attacking it. Yeah. Anyways, this one is, yeah, it's, you saw this one. Okay, this one's quite a bit to read, but it just keeps plusing and like, preventing the creature from attacking. Mm -hmm. Like that, that can damage. And this becomes a win condition. It can be a 4-4 four, four on our turn. Yeah, that's right. And then, you know sometimes they can like hit us to win the game and leave the Planeswalker? Mm -hmm. The last one is, as long as this is on the field, I can't lose the game. So if I'm at minus three, I'm still alive. So that's really interesting. <laughs> well, what do you mean at minus mm -hmm. three you're still alive? Oh, because it says, as long as you control Gideon Planeswalker, you yeah. can't lose the game and your comp opponent can't win the game. Oh. So any if I'm at like zero life, I'm still playing. They gotta kill Gideon first. Oh, so, but usually I just do the plus one, plus one. But I feel like they might just start ignoring yeah. me. Then I, my Gideon's at like you 10. keep making these emblems each turn? Oh, you don't need two though. There's no point in having two. Because oh. it's the same thing, right? Yeah. The same rule. It doesn't double I mean, them. If, if they are able to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. But I don't think anything removes emblems. Oh. There's never been anything that can remove, emblems. remove emblems. You cannot. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there. Cannot yep. destroy. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 but... Uh, no plants or creates all that are able to remove them. It's just like a rule. It's a, new, oh, it's a game rule now. Weird. Yeah, it's interesting. And now, okay, let's keep going. Wrath of God. You will yes. never lose mm -hmm. then, once you put no. no, it's at three, right? You do minus. I mean, you do zero. They kill Gideon and then kill you. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Wrath of God, oh, it's very straightforward. Yeah. It's stronger than these because it's not just three damage; just kill everybody. Yeah. And this one is a two for one. 
Have you used? Planeswalkers are not creatures. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Planeswalkers are not creatures. And do you know what Fortow is? Yep. Okay, nice. So this one is Fortow is really nice. You, on a turn two, you can play this, and one day you can play this for two mana. Mm -hmm. And anyways, this is like one of this is like our main. Like we want to build up so we can get to Teferi. Mm -hmm. So, um, you can see like. If you can get to eight, whenever you draw a card, you can exile a permanent opponent control, including lands. <laughs> so you just draw, destroy a land, draw, kill that. Draw. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it gets insane. But that doesn't happen much, but you can, like, it's just really strong. Mm -hmm. Or you can come down, minus three right away, kill one thing. And then they, they have to, like, attack this one. So you kill one thing and you protect, you know? Yeah. Anything you want, you know? Do you have two planeswalkers? No, it's a legendary. So you cannot have, like, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you cannot have two at the same time of legendary. There's something called the legendary rule. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. You cannot have two legendary things at the same time. So if you try to cast another legendary thing, what will happen is uh, it will force you to choose one to stay alive, and one of them will the, die. Um, legendary enchantment. Uh, all legendary things cannot have two of. Mm -hmm. so legendary creature, legendary enchantment. Anything. Legendary, any, anything. Oh. Like this. Yeah. So it's not good to like draw two, but maybe they just kill this and then you play another one. Oh. You know? So okay, let me show you like some of our other win cons, okay? Okay. Okay, read this. This is kind of interesting. I know this one. Oh, you know it? Okay. So that's another good, because we have so many instant sorceries, right? Yeah. We play this and later we play Behold. We get a four, we get to do this and we get a free four, four. And we get a free four, you know what I mean? Like, and we get a, we do this, you get a free three. We play this, any, any non-creature spell. Mm -hmm. So we actually don't want that many creatures. Maybe I'm going to take this out eventually. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe I should take it out now because it dies to all the, you know, board yeah. wives. Huh. Let, let's let, let, let's uh, look, look at some alternatives. But this one survives these two because it's more than three, right? Yeah. So read this. This is really strong. Hmm. Any instant. Hmm. And look at how many instants we have in our deck. We're at 13. So by the time this is on, I, I can cast any instant. I can play this, scry to draw a card. I can play, I can counter something. I can absorb. I can helix. Hmm. Not that many things. Only when it's um, entering? Oh, okay. when it enters. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? That dies to Wrath of God though, right? Destroy all creatures. Mm -hmm. So I, you know what? Let's, let's take a look at a... So I'll show you how, like, you know, I, I do research. I just do mtgdex.net or something. You know, let's go to MTG Goldfish <laughs> and then Historic. And then you can go to uh, one of the most popular decks. is, is red, blue, white, blue, red. Mm -hmm. And let's look at some. These are, like, some of the top decks recently. Mm -hmm. well, let's take a look at uh, what they're... Well, they are playing Torrential, Gear Hulk, and Wrath of God together. But you can time it yourself, right? You don't have to kill... Oh, expressive memory. Oh, game control. Oh, I don't know how much I like that actually, because the other one blue blue, so it's kind of hard to see. But um, yeah. Anyways, if, if a creature yeah. has hex proof, does it not die when you play that? Wrath of God? Oh, wrath of God doesn't target. So hex proof says it doesn't get targeted. Mm -hmm. So it does um work okay. it does die 